allow me to bring you through this sketchbook painting that I did with gouache where I was recreating a painting from an impressionist painting from this book that I was really inspired by called Working Amongst Flowers. I want to invite you to take this opportunity to pull out your paints and paint along with me. Use me as your companion as I chat with you about my feelings around using sketchbooks. As I chat, you will be watching me do this painting in gouache and I am totally new to gouache. I have been using watercolour a lot and I might not know the right way of using it or if there isn't a right way or not but my purpose of doing this was really just to explore gouache and to just play around with the medium. In fact, you would see me do a lot more if you stay till the end of the video where I get to explore with mixing media as well. So I'm going to be really honest, I don't like sketchbooks. Sketchbooks scare me and I've got so many limiting beliefs with regard to sketchbooks. I often have this perception that sketchbooks have to look or feel in a certain way, especially when I go through videos of other artists who have put together sketchbooks that are so beautifully cohesive. It really scares me because it part of me feel like I'm not able to create in this cohesive manner. In fact, Every time I decide to do a painting, it's based on what I feel for and feel like rather than that it is supposed to be of a specific theme. As a result, sketchbooks have never really been my thing. But how did we get here where right now you're watching me paint in a sketchbook? So I was in a bookstore recently and I managed to find a sketchbook that happened to be 100% cotton paper. Now the last time I used a sketchbook, these were mostly mixed media paper or just made up of watercolour paper that was maybe 20-25% cotton. And my level of success with using water and creating loose florals that were very much wet was not very successful because I would get my papers warped in different directions and I did not like it. Or I would get a lot of hard lines because the water just did not seep into the paper. So as a result, when I found this sketchbook, I decided to buy it and try it out just because it said 100% cotton paper. Now, I have been using this sketchbook now for about 5 or 6 paintings at this stage and I cannot say that I really really love painting on sketchbooks yet but I have to tell you that I have changed my perceptions and beliefs a little when it comes to sketchbooks ever since I gave it a second shot. Apart from sketchbooks, this book was actually a ritual that I started for myself where I wanted to paint every morning before my kids woke up. So I would wake up a little extra earlier, around 6 before my kids wake up, turn on my lights and I would be painting. And I wanted to do this because I had been noticing that while doing this creative business and everything, the busyness of administrative work has gotten me a lot less time to play and create for myself where I just get to create because I wanted to do it rather than create it as a content or a tutorial or a workshop. It was so liberating to just pick up a sketchbook in the morning and just sit down and doodle or do whatever splashy paint that I wanted for at least half an hour. Now this was also an opportunity for me to kind of discover new ways of using materials that have been sitting and collecting dust in my cabinet. So I have to admit, I love art supplies and I have got all kinds of materials talking about gouache, colour pencils, wax pastels. I've got so many of these materials that I feel I've neglected because I don't use them as much when it comes to tutorials and workshops. So as a result, this sketchbook 
really just became a playground and I shifted my perspective of creating artworks that were cohesive into just creating artworks that were just purely for exploration and play. Now each of these paintings that I did in the beginning were inspired by this book that I got and you can see this other video that I did on YouTube where I shared a review about it. It's called Working with Flowers and there were so many beautiful impressionist paintings. If you stay till the end, you'll be able to see the reference photo that I was painting from, from this book itself. The thing about doing a painting in the morning is that I would also have to stop the moment my kids wake up. So I would come back to the painting again in the afternoon once they nap and try and figure things out. Now when I was doing this painting, I have to admit that I didn't really like where it was going or how it looked. In fact, a lot of it felt really blobby and I wasn't really sure how to continue. This is where I decided to use my color pencils and I had recently purchased some of these color pencils by Derwent. They are called the Intense Color Pencils and you're going to be watching me use them at a later stage as I try and define some of the flowers in this painting. In this particular painting, I tried to use deliberate blooms in the beginning to capture some of the floral shapes. But the thing about using deliberate blooms is that again, like using water, there's always that level of unpredictability and there were so many unwanted hard lines, I wasn't really sure how to work through it. The thing about gouache is that because it's opaque, you can essentially layer over it and I think that's the fun part. I wanted to share with you this brush that I'm using right now. It's a really hard brush and I like that it creates some beautiful dry strokes and textures which I wanted to capture that were showcased in the book. I was trying to play around with texture and dry brush strokes which honestly are not really used very much in watercolour because in watercolour most of the time we are focusing a lot more on all of those blends and bleeds and the effects are really different. So being able to play around with some of these new tools has given me the opportunity to get a lot more excited about creating as well and coming back to painting. The lovely thing about doing these sketchbook arts was that I was sharing some of it with my members in my community and they too are really excited about some of the paintings that I'm doing. So I'm definitely going to be planning some kind of tutorials where we will be doing some of these impressionist style paintings with gouache maybe and just to play around because I believe that while doing some of these and when I started to use my sketchbook more like a playground for exploration and it really relieved the pressure of me just wanting to produce art that was cohesive which was a mind block that I had given to myself. In fact, another mind block that I had with regard to sketchbook was I felt like the first page of the sketchbook was the hardest and the scariest. So instead of avoiding it, I just jumped in and I just painted something really simple and I told myself that that was good enough because I felt like if I had skipped it and avoided it, it, I would not have learned anything from it. In fact, I would just continue to harbor those feelings of avoidance. So jumping into it and creating something simple kind of helped me realize that I could do it and I could do hard things. And I think that's the beauty of putting yourself in this position of creating art. 
Now the thing about these intense pencils is that they are watercolor pencils and when you add water to them, they will activate just like watercolor pencils and they produce really beautiful, vibrant colors and tones. I liked that when you use them and layer over with them again after they have dried, if you had put water over it, they would not reactivate which is quite nice because usually watercolor pencils would reactivate again if you put water over that same spot. So when I started to layer with watercolor pencils, what I realized was that I could create a lot more definition. I was playing a lot more with layers, a lot more with texture. In fact, I really liked the texture of those scribbles that the watercolor pencils were creating on my painting. It almost mimics some of those textures on canvas that you would see because the thing is, this sketchbook, the it is cold pressed, but it does not have that much texture as my usual paper that I use from Pao Hong so I wasn't really used to the smoothness of it and I really like that the gouache created some texture as well as some of these color pencils too. Now if you have been watching up to this point, I am curious to know what your views are when it comes to using sketchbooks. Do you also have similar limiting beliefs as to me or if you are using sketchbooks, what kind of ideas do you have? I also wanted to share this sketchbook artist that I found who I can relate so well to. She does so much beautiful exploration on her channel and she also has Skillshare classes and I also started following her on Instagram. I'm so inspired by the way she just explores, mixes media and just plays with her tools and a lot of it is so much more fun and less curated. Her name is Omar and I'm going to be linking her channel down in the description below. I find that after I got over my own sketchbook fear and all of those mental blocks that were hindering me from using a sketchbook, it really freed me up to do a lot more exploration. In fact, I felt like I could translate some of these things that I've learned in my sketchbooks into my paintings as well. And I find that when it comes to this elusive search of finding your style, it's really about being able to explore and giving yourself the permission to play with whatever tools and not to have to conform to having to have things look or be a certain way. I really enjoyed showing you my process for this painting and having this chat with you has been such a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed watching this video too and I cannot wait for us to chat again together. Let's make time to paint again soon.